combat has gone through um, you know some pretty heavy revisions to, to try and keep the responsiveness that we had in Dragon Age 2 where moves were executed fairly quickly and, and you know, could snap cast a fireball but ultimately we want it to feel more tactical so that um, you know the, the pacing is slowed down there's a lot more weight and physicality to your two-handed swords or to your sword and shield and the most fundamental change is all platforms will now be receiving tactical view I mean, you can attach your camera, go more top-down, pause the game, issue your orders, and see it all play out, in even staying in that view while you engage your foes. This means players really have a lot more in the toolbox in terms of how they play. While all the fundamentals are still there, in terms of the number of abilities you have, the composition of your party, and so on, each of which gives you kind of a different combat experience. <laughs> I think depending on how you choose to play it, it can be very strategic. And certainly uh, one thing we're trying to do is encourage players to think more long term. Uh, the, the idea of the encounter being kind of the, the atomic unit of gameplay is something we're trying to change. Where a single encounter now, when you come out of it, you won't automatically heal unless you're grievously injured. Uh, you won't um, have unlimited stacks of potions hanging around. You kind of need to measure your resources and play smart on every single encounter you do. Our goal um, is not to, not to feel like a strategy game in that you're moving tanks on borders, but more to feel like um, thinking long-term is one of the most rewarding ways to play. So you're thinking more about the adventure.